good day, it's me, JC, and welcome to Robot Show Tunes, my very own YouTube channel where I get to review Transformers toys, Voltus 5 toys, Macross Robotech toys, Evangelion toys, and just about whatever else I want. And in today's episode, I am going to review New Age Toys The Legendary Heroes Asmodeus, a third party representation of G1 Bombshell. Here's the packaging, and as you can see, Bombshell comes as a set with the other three original Insecticons. Now, so I can give each Insecticon his 15 minutes of fame, I have divided this review into three parts. For information on the other two Insecticons, just go to their videos, and if they're not up yet, well, patience is a virtue. So, here's the box. Back. Side, side, and bottom and top designs are identical. Uh, before I go any further, uh, this, by the way, is not uh, the version 1 of the new age insecticons this is actually uh the plus version which is uh i believe the cartoon colors uh the first release was not cartoon accurate apparently so they they made this release the cartoon accurate one so um let's take a look inside <laughs> Alright, so the bug cons come with these three translucent pink energon cubes. And specific to Bombshell is his mortar. There's a hinge here, so it it doubles as his horn, proboscis. How do you pronounce that? Uh, when he's in rhino beetle mode. And lastly, here is the instruction booklet. Now, with accessories out of the way, let's discuss articulation. The head is on what I believe is a ball peg. Um, it sh theoretically should be able to turn 360 degrees, but, but for these um, shoulder extensions, so yeah, up to there, uh, uh, you really force it, yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's forcing it. S and there's a slight tilt down, slight tilt up, and very, very slight tilt side to side. The shoulder is also a ball peg. Can You can turn also 360, and because of transformation, you can set them way back like this. And the upper arm is on a hinge uh, because of this structure here yeah it it would be impractical actually impossible for this to raise if not for this hinge to supplement the ball peg so you can raise it up to there there is no bicep swivel but there is this ball jointed elbow so you can turn the lower the forearm 360 and get it up to there bend it 90 degrees um of bombshells the only insecticon with a wrist swivel so that turns 360 there is no ab crunch but there is a waist swivel gives you 360 it's also necessary for transformation 
um, there is a the knee is a ball joint uh, gets you up to there oh, hold on uh, the hips so T jointed ball joints split to the side split to the front and back again knees are ball joints so you can do you can bend up to here uh, no thigh swivel though but because this is a ball joint yeah you can turn the calves 360 at the at the knee the toes are ball joints you can turn them turn them 360 and you can point them all the way down here oh, that's also necessary for transformation all right moving on to so here's bombshell and company with new age toys blue streak cartoon colors DX9 War and Pocket Optimus Prime, Magic Square Toys Trailbreaker, Takara Tomy Masterpiece Tracks, and last but definitely not the least, Fungo Pop Death of the Endless. Now let's move on to transformation. To transform Bombshell, uh, open up his chest by flipping this down. Rotate this, the head, in, and then flip it back up. From there, bring his arms behind him and rotate at the elbow so that the exposed part of the ball joint the elbow ball elbow ball joints are ex facing you I suppose and that these bumps on the forearms are facing each other and rotate these fists 90 degrees because well I'll show you late uh, why later and um, bend these like so that's not for that's not really for transformations that's just to get them out of the way make things easier so turn at the waist through uh, 180 bring out the insect legs flip them out and fold the the, the legs together there is an obstruction here somewhere um, just maneuver so that gets out of the way fold and once it's almost once they're almost folded in you might want to hold on once they're almost folded in you might want to connect the legs together there is a tab here and a slot here And in there, uh, two, there are two halves of a peg, and they'll slot here at the, at the waist. It's a bit tricky, because you can't really see what's going on. Oh, let's see. 
and there isn't a real once in place there the click isn't really that audible so we'll just have to get a feel for it I suppose hold on yes let me see heard something so yeah they're secure I believe they are secure and uh, these toes Wait, let me just put them these toes uh, have them point forward uh, and back to these arms have the fists grab on to this n these notches on the legs to secure every uh, everything in so that to secure everything or almost everything and once you have that you bring out these insect legs and to finish it off or to finish things you grab the mortar or the weapon whatever and it forms the horn of your rhinoceros beetle so there is bombshell in his alt mode all right Let's move on to... Alright, articulation in this mode is not something to write home about. Basically, it's just this horn going up and down at a, at the, uh, at a hinge. Doesn't even swivel at the nose. Um, the hind legs are fixed, and the front legs can only do the breaststroke, so to speak. Oh, there's a little sc scully. <laughs> yeah, so to speak. Sorry, scully. Let me borrow that for this review. Anyway, <laughs> again, that's all for art articulation. It's, that is all for articulation in this mode. So let us move on to... So here's Bombshell and a company with New Age Toys Blue Streak Cartoon Colors, DX9 Warren Pocket Optimus Prime, Magic Square Toys Trailbreaker, Takara Tomy Masterpiece Tracks, and Funko Pop Death of the Endless. Now. Let us move on to my final thoughts. Alright. Under the cons column, the head mounted mortar in robot mode, the, the one mounted on the robot head, is too small and plain. Uh, because if you notice in the tune, this thing actually attaches to Bombshell's robot head, except that it's smaller. Uh, let's ch uh, let's leave that to mass or size shifting. But anyway, um, maybe to replicate that here, uh, they could have just included a detachable mortar that's larger than the one that's mold the, than the one that's the, than the one that's molded in here but smaller than the insect mode horn. So something smaller than this to attach to the, something smaller than this to attach to the robot head. Um, again, as with the other two insecticons, there are no discernible eyes or face, 
but then again I think that's how the G1 insect mode was originally designed. And any child knows that an insect has six legs. This one, near as I can tell, only has four. Uh, again, those are mostly nitpicks, but I point them out anyways because, and you can quote me on this, one collector's nitpick may be another's deal breaker. On the pro, under the pro column, again, there's the tune accurate colors, uh, great face sculpt, and Bombshell in particular, particular has the best articulation of all the New Age Insecticons. Now and for final thoughts, my very final thoughts, uh, I think I've finally warmed up to these bugs uh, separately. They are cool, but they really shine when you pose them together. They are color coordinated enough for you to get a sense that they belong to a subgroup, but they're also designed differently enough from each other that each of them stand out, even in a group photo. Uh, because I do love taking pictures of my toys. Um, uh, it's a solid recommend for me, especially this version that's tune color accurate. So that's all for today's tune. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel and like Robot Show Tunes on Facebook if it so please you. And until next time, <laughs> and until next time, see you at the theater.